Hi, the supine pelvic tilting. Head ribs and hips are in line. And you feel for the sacrum, tailbone heavy. Opposite the pelvis. Opposite the belly button, it's a little bit of a curve without the ribs popping. So taking the time to breathe in, sigh, and let the ribs relax down into the ground. Breathe into the back of the ribs, the sides of the ribs, and the top of the rib cage. When you breathe out, feel the ribs deflate, the cinch, and the tightening of the torso. Take a breath in, tailbone heavy, sternum rises, and breathe out. Deflate the ribs, cinch the waist. Take a breath in, tailbone heavy, sternum rises. You feel length in your spine on the inhale, and then exhale, keep that length, deflate, cinch, shoulders stay relaxed, neck stays relaxed. Breath in, tailbone heavy, sternum rises, lots of length. Breathe out, deflate, cinch, and keep the length in your spine. As you keep the breath, tailbone heavy, sternum rises. Breathe in for a count of five. And when you start your breath out, deflate, cinch, breathe out for a count of five. When you're breathing into the rib cage, tailbone heavy, sternum rises, start your tuck on the last three counts. Once you're flat, deflate, cinch, and untuck, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, and tuck, three, four, five, using the muscles right across your hips. Exhale, deflate, cinch, and untuck, three, four, five. Take a breath in, one, two, and flatten the back, three, four, five. Feel the back lengthen into the ground. Exhale, deflate, cinch, and untuck, three, four, five. Feel that extra length you get in the torso.